Actually, we have 10,000 tons a day capacity, but this underground mine that Roberto just showed you will mine at 5,000 tons a day. So if you think about it, we've got 5,000 spare. Now, where are we going to get that extra feed? Well, we have a number of open pit targets. Talking gold here with Tucano Gold and Jeremy. What a day. Your trucks have arrived and gold is trading at $2,220. Record prices, Arnie. What a time to be restarting such a big mine like Mina Tucano in northern Brazil. We are so excited. We've just made the payment to Sani, who's our very important partner in Brazil. We've purchased eight 65-ton trucks, two excavators, and one loader. And this is the beginning of us to race towards 6,000 ounces a month by August in our phase one first expansion. Yeah, and Jeremy, I think that translates to about 5 million free cash flow per month. And the gold price is even more impressive in Brazil Real, so your local currency. Absolutely, Arnie. If you're making 6,000 ounces a month with the current configuration, this business will make 5 million per month of free cash flow. We have just launched an 80 cent round we have 52 million shares out, so that's 41 million Canadian valuation for a business that would cost you 400 million US to build today. So if you think about it, we're making 5 million a month at these prices. And you're absolutely right. We're receiving over 11,000 reals an ounce at current prices in, in Brazil. When we first started the journey five years ago in Brazil, it was 4,000. So it's a great time to be a gold miner in Brazil. And Jeremy, before we dive a bit deeper into the material, you've just said that there's an 80 cent round out. How can people at home actually participate? And is there kind of like a hurdle to get started with this investment? Because of course you're not public just yet. Absolutely, Stein. We have over 600 retail sophisticated mum and dad investors who've supported this journey over the last five years. And if you'd like to get involved with this beautiful uh, Tucano Gold, go to tucanogold.com decanogold.com on the website and you'll find Edward Baum. He's a, a very nice man. You just write to Ed and say you, you listen to us on the call and you can uh, get involved on this, uh, this, this round at 80 cents, which we think when, uh, once we're listed, if we're delivering the numbers that uh, Roberto will tell you about shortly, uh, 12,000 ounces a month is the medium term target. We're probably a $5 stock. So it's very significant upside here and in, in what is a great market for gold. Exciting times, Jeremy. Um, gold at record levels, uh, you're starting production. And on top, you also have an additional revenue stream that might be coming up anytime soon. Absolutely. We have, Arnie, Takana Gold owns the greenest, the cleanest, and the lowest cost iron ore in the industry. Now, we weren't really so familiar with the operation that we have at in the gold circuit. But we're very lucky that the gold tailings, so the waste that comes out of our gold mill, has extremely high grade iron. And there's a ready made plant that was built by BDL uh, 10 years ago. They spent $15 million building this. And it produces a beautiful high grade, 68 to 69% uh, magnetite iron that is very, very clean. And if you think the numbers, just, just go through the numbers. So if it makes 1,500 tons a day, once we turn it back on, with a cash cost of only $5, then the business right now, even these lower iron ore prices, will make sixty to 70000 US dollars profit every day. It, the reality is, the sooner we expand the iron ore from half a million tons to one million tons, then we have arguably a business that is just as profitable as our gold. And uh, to expand it, to double that capacity, was only $2 million dollars. And we have 35 million tons of super high grade iron ore tailings, up to 45% that's been sitting there for the last 20 years that we also want to reprocess. So we're super duper excited about the iron ore. We call it Tucano Green Iron. And the response from the industry, from the commodity trading houses, from the steel industry has been absolutely phenomenal. In fact, it's one of only two of these mills in the whole world. And Jeremy, obviously logistics are gonna be key. So you're gonna to have to transport, which is gonna be quite expensive uh, given the distances. So what about the CapEx required? And do you already have a partner lined up who can settle that bill, who's willing to invest in uh, Tucano or Green Iron? Arnie, we've been flooded with people wanting to talk to us about the iron ore, commodity traders, different to the gold industry, right? When we sell gold, a helicopter comes and picks up the gold and we get paid within one hour of a shipment. It's very different to iron ore, of course. You have to stockpile it at your site. You have to then take it on trucks for $25 a tonne 
drive it 200 kilometers to the port of Santana, which would take the total cost into Santana port at $30, which is the same price today almost as Rio Tinto and BHP for their lower quality, lower grade product. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a different business, but we are exploring all options right now. Do we keep it a hundred percent within the business? Do we bring in a JV partner? It is just the most exciting time for Takano Green Iron. Okay, and just to share a little bit of context here, if we look at the prices for iron ore. We've had a, a slump from 2015 at around $50 per ton. And then we've actually had a spike of up to 225 fueled by the housing boom in China mainly. Then Evergrande happened and uh, a, lot of, a lot of projects in China went into care maintenance. Now we're at 106. So looking at the long-term trend, it seems to be fueled by overall emerging markets, developing countries, building projects that uh, iron ore is in the long-term trend fueled by the growth in the global economy. That's absolutely right, Arnie. But, you know, we make our product for $5 and we're such high premium product that the price you see on that screen, you should add another $20 a ton for our product. So um, we're kind of immune to any downturn, but we, we our focus is to sell into the green steel industry. That's the big focus for us, the premium product. And that's a massive kind of shift in the steel industry to go green. And we're all for that. And uh, we have the greenest and the cleanest, lowest cost in uh, iron ore in the world. So it's it's exciting times. It just so happens we have the most exciting iron ore business in Takano. But I wanted also today to introduce you to one of my most important team members in Brazil, Roberto Cobra. I wanted to show you why we also have, we think, the best undeveloped gold mine in Brazil and possibly top three in the world. It's called Euricom North. We purchased this when we acquired the old Great Panther assets. And Great Panther spent $40 million drilling out the whole project, 473 holes over two years. So um, I wanted to show everyone on this call just how big this Euricom North deposit is and why it will take us just from this one mine to 150,000 ounces a year from this one mine with a cash cost of less than $800. Over to you, Roberto, mate. Uh, I'm showing you uh, a zoom out uh, in the Tucano project. Here in the northwest side is the Urucum mines, that Urucum peaks that Jeremy was talking about. And here we have um, another target there, uh, the Duckhead Beach. Uh, the distance uh, from one to another is more than 10,000. 000- thousand kilometers. In the Urukum pits, we have four pits in sequence. Uh, there is a the mineralization trend is north to south with a, a deep value of 7, 8, 80 degrees. Um, as you can see, all the the area was extensively drilling. So Roberto, just to, to clarify, is every one of those strings we see, is that a drill hole that has been already drilled? Yes, every great trace here uh, is a drill hole. Uh, how many drill holes, is that hundreds of drill holes or, or what number are we looking at? Yes, hundreds of drill holes, da- uh, hundreds of diamond drill holes and thousands of data in general, RC drilling, alger, uh, this kind of things as well. Because they, they start uh, sampling the, the soil, the top, uh, the top uh, layer of the, of the rocks, and when they find uh, interesting data, interesting samples, they, they begin drilling deeper. And the mines that themselves, they were extensive drilled, as you can see here. Uh, and this is uh, the actual topography of the Urukum pits. And, and Jeremy, what would the cost be today if you would now commission this number of drill holes, this amount of meters, how much would it cost in today's money? Oh, Arnie, this is at least 40 million US dollars. It's going to take you two years. Uh, it's going to have probably five or six drill rigs and a whole team of 50 staff. It is a massive, massive effort. Great Panther did all of this amazing work. We take their hat off to them. But what you're looking at there, and maybe show a few more drill holes, Roberto, what you're looking at there is a business that will produce 600 ounces a day, just in that little square on the left. 600 ounces a day is what this this business is capable of doing when we go underground. And remember, we're from Pilar in the state of Goyas, where we mine one, 1. 1.2 grams a day. This is a 5 gram ore body. We are looking at the mine plan that Great Panther left for us when they closed the mine. Uh, they've made this design, the, this underground uh, mining design, uh, with the, pr- the price that Jeremy has said, uh, it's, which is very lower than we have nowadays. So that's why we are seeing these samples here that are high grade with a, a, bowl, uh, a gold grade above 5 grams per ton. 
that are still left out the, the designed stopes because they were not economically profitable uh, in the past with the with the the best price. But nowadays we are reviewing both the modeling and the and the mine planning in order to project to design more stopes that would uh, contemplate all these samples that we can see here, even going further down, as you can see. All these this stop designs here that you can see uh, with the galleries and so they are already in indicated resource which means that we have a, a very high conf confidence and while we are developing the, the underground mine we will convert this indicated resource to measure the resource with more drilling and more sampling also uh, converting this resource here that is inferred nowadays into indicated and measured in order to go deep down with the mine. We, we are seeing here just Urukum, but we also have uh, uh, other targets here that, to develop as well. I guess it's important to summarize that this is all gold that has already been found. No extra exploration is needed. It's just being unlocked by that higher higher gold price like you shared, Jeremy. Absolutely. There's been all drilled, all the work's done. But here's the great thing. And I'll get, I'll get Roberto to zoom back a bit. Key is that this is eight kilometers from our mill. And we think the underground mine runs all the way down to the mill. Can you show the guys why we think that, Roberto? Why this is a five to six million ounce underground project mine that will probably run for the next 40 years. This is what we're talking about, a huge system. I do not have the topography, the current topography up to date to the other targets, uh, but here we have the Taperaba targets here. And it's also very extensive drilled as well with a uh, right amount of uh, gold already in the reserves and indicated and measured. And that's why we are thinking uh, in the long term as well. That's five grams, that red material, isn't it, Roberto? Five grams, super high grade. Go get closer there, mate. Show the, show the guys what that's all looks like. Look at that, beautiful. And the nameplate, nameplate capacity of your, your plant is 100,000 ounces, so this would be seven years or potentially slightly less if it's high grade or of, um, of mill, correct? Actually, we have 10,000 tons a day capacity, but this underground mine that uh, Roberto just showed you will mine at 5,000 tons a day. So if you think about it, we've got 5,000 spare. Now, where are we going to get that extra feed? Well, we have a number of open pit targets. Uh, that we'll probably discover over these next couple of years, but we'll probably also develop along this, this that all that red lines that Roberto was showing you, and bring up this underground to feed the whole mill with super high grade, four to five gram feed. Then you have a four hundred thousand ounce business. Now we're not there yet, guys. I'm only looking. We're only looking to get to six thousand ounces a month by August. But we just want to give you a perspective of how massive. This system is, and Roberto is leading the charge with our, all of our wonderful geologists that we have on site. I'm sorry to bang on about Duckhead. Duckhead was the highest grading gold mine in the world between 2013 and 2016. Now, that's quite something. Let's be honest. There's hundreds and hundreds of gold mines in the world, and what you see here called Duckhead was the highest grading mine in the world. In fact, the last month that they mined, Duckhead, September of 2016, they pulled out 20,000 ounces at 59 grams a ton at the bottom of that pit. And I'll hand it over to Roberto just to show you how big we think this system is. Uh, uh, the thing with uh, when they were uh, mining the pads is that they did it in a little bit of hurry. So we do not have uh, an up-to-date uh, topography from there. But we know uh, by comparing the volumes and talking with people that worked there at the time that uh, we can see here uh, the samples of all five grams per ton. I love that picture, the 50 grams. Here is the labels as well. Uh, we, we think that uh, they mine it uh, down to here where my mouse is. And, and Jeremy, it, it, with those exceptional grades, why did the mine stop working in 2016 when they have 50 grams per ton? It's an amazing question, Arnie. I mean, can you think you just had one month where you pull out $40 million worth of gold at today's prices? It probably be a cash cost at 59 grams would be less than $100. And it, they just closed. They just closed and it walked away. Roberto, thank you very much for sharing this exciting mine plan and great to see that there is future potential along the road. And oh boy, 50 gram per ton does sound like something very intriguing. Jeremy, um, any final words from your side? Look, Arnie, I just wanted to, to show everyone listening on this call, there are, uh, the uh, 80 cent round is available to everyone on this call. 
uh, go to TucanoGold.com. Uh, contact Edward Baum. Ed Baum, he's a very nice man. Would love to get you on the journey. We have six hundred over six hundred mum and dad sophisticated investors in our group. You've made it all possible. You've made this acquisition possible. And may I just say one thing? Yesterday, Wednesday, the twenty seventh of March, was the busiest day I've experienced in the last five years. In terms of incoming calls, brokers, um, companies wanting to talk to us, I have not seen it this strong and so busy in the gold space. And I think it's the beginning of something really, really special in gold. And I'll tell you what I think it is. I think we have a new consumer there. Gold was driven by the Indian market for the last 50 years. Guess what? The Chinese are much bigger. And I think within one or two years, the Chinese will be twice the size of the Indian market. And the physical demand is just off this chart. I get calls every day from gold buyers wanting to buy our gold. Something very special is happening in gold. It's not about just Bitcoin. Gold is going to surprise everyone in 2024.